This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at bond triangle diagrams. The type of bonding between atoms is determined by the difference in their electronegativity values. A bond triangle diagram can be used to determine the type of bonding that occurs between atoms in a solid. Here we have the bond triangle diagram that appears in the data booklet. In addition to this diagram, there are also these two equations. The first equation is used to calculate the difference in electronegativity between two atoms. The second equation is used to determine the average electronegativity. Next, we'll use the bond triangle diagram to determine the type of bonding in chlorine. So first, we calculate the difference in electronegativity between the atoms. Because we have the same type of atom bonded together, the difference in electronegativity is zero. The average electronegativity is calculated by adding together the electronegativity values of both atoms and dividing by 2. This gives us a value of 3.2. Next, we use the bond triangle diagram to determine the type of bonding in chlorine. On the y-axis, we have the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms. On the x-axis, we have the average electronegativity. So on the y-axis, we have 0 and on the x-axis we have 3.2. This tells us that the type of bonding in chlorine is covalent. In our next example, we will determine the type of bonding in cesium fluoride. The first step is to determine the difference in electronegativity between fluorine and cesium. So we subtract the electronegativity value of cesium from the electronegativity value of fluorine to get 3.2. Next, we calculate the average electronegativity. So we add the electronegativity values of fluorine and cesium and divide by 2, which gives us 2.4. So on the y-axis we have 3.2, on the x-axis we have 2.4, which tells us the type of bonding is ionic. In our next example, we will determine the type of bonding in magnesium. The difference in electronegativity is 0, and the average electronegativity is 1.3. So that's 0 on the y-axis, 1.3 on the x-axis, which tells us the type of bonding is metallic. In our last example, we will determine the type of bonding in hydrogen chloride. The difference in electronegativity is 1.0 and the average electronegativity is 2.7. So that's 1.0 on the y-axis, 2.7 on the x-axis, which tells us the type of bonding is polar covalent. Next we look at how to determine the percentage ionic character of a bond. The percentage ionic character of a bond can be calculated using this equation. So percentage ionic character is equal to the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms divided by 3.2 multiplied by 100. So next we'll calculate the percentage ionic character of the bond between the hydrogen and chlorine atom in hydrogen chloride. As we saw earlier, the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms is 1.0. So the percentage ionic character is equal to 1.0 divided by 3.2 multiplied by 100, which gives us a percentage ionic character of 31%. So the bond in hydrogen chloride is 31% ionic and 69% covalent.